The man you're about to meet admits that he was texting and driving and not wearing his seatbelt when he crashed into a tree. It's been years of recovery, but now he hopes that his story will help save someone's life. I remember nothing. I'm so thankful for that. I would Bartley King says he was a senior at Virginia Commonwealth University when he was driving to work and texting his fiance. That decision would forever change his life. Doctors told my family while I was in coma, they said if he had worn a seatbelt, he might have walked away. But instead, he was in a coma for nearly a month. They had no idea what to expect when I, when I woke up. They cried their eyes out, and I regret that so much. I tell people, if you have someone in this world that you love, do not put them through that much pain, because you'll regret it. Fortunately, King is here at Bucro Beach to tell his story, and with a bit of humor. My neck was fractured. If my head were gone the wrong way, my spinal cord would have been severed. I mean, I wouldn't be standing tall, dark, and handsome and modest here right now. A brain injury left him partially paralyzed on his left side. He feels fortunate to walk, but he can't drive anymore. If uh, a girl calls me and says, hey, you want to have dinner tonight? I'll say, yeah, but you got to come pick me up. And that's really tough. King has worked tirelessly to get back in shape mentally and physically. He's back at the books trying to finish his degree through VCU. I don't like settling for this. I want to be up here. And King says he is on track to graduate college in about a year. He's trying to connect with local high schools because he hopes to speak with young drivers there about the dangers of distracted driving. In Hampton, Angela Bohan, News 3. And we took a look at this statistic.